Hello everybody, and welcome back. I'm Count Christo, and this is The Sun Never Sets. We've got some new mods that are fun. So now we can only see things that are important, or we can see everything, or we can hide them entirely, and the notifications, notably, do not overlap with this anymore, which is a very good change, so I'm very happy about that. Right, it's been a little while since I played this campaign. Good lord, we've got like a thousand construction capacity we're not using. <laughs> that seems... Suboptimal. I imagine. Oh, yes, that's right. We just went laissez faire, didn't we? So we can't subsidize stuff. Uh, okay. But everything is still auto expanding. Everything, or at least a lot of things, seem to be losing money. No, no auto expanding gold mines. Just just give me all the gold mines. Uh, yeah, auto expand. Can't auto expand opium production. That's right. Because we've, uh, we've got all the opium, opium buildings we can possibly get. Right, so rubber, why are you losing money? You're making some money. Wages are just quite expensive, basically. How are your. Oh, just the wages are pretty high. Yeah. Is there a. Hmm. Wage is due to base wage. Okay. Interesting. How do you. How do you look at, like, the wage? And work out what's causing it. I don't really know. You, you, sir. You're very literate. You're accepted. Hmm. Interesting. Not sure how you determine what's causing wages, but anyway, everything seems to be fine. Uh, income taxes are ticking along. We're not currently trying to pass a law, and yeah, people are pretty pleased with us. Um, the Communist Party rural folk. What is this icon? Oh, that's just because they're, that's the party affiliation. Right, right, right. In terms of their, yes, they are communists. So they support workers and protections, council, republic, total separation. But we already have the ones that those actually want. So I'm happy with my highly legitimate government. Laws wise, I would like to move to something like graduated taxation. A petite bourgeoisie would be pretty pissed. If we did that, what would that give us? It would just give us xenophobia, though, which is radicals from discrimination. And we don't discriminate, so that would literally just do nothing. Um, should we just try, even though it's only a 10% chance to get to graduated taxation? That is the one I want, right? Yeah, with the really high dividends. It goes lower, yeah, it lowers your income tax. Well, relative to portional. Hmm. Who else wants it? It's just the trade unions. Who wants it? And then being in government or not in government, we establish, doesn't matter. Like, if I reform and I kick out the Pellet Party, the chances of passing it are the same. I don't know why. I mean, that, that, that's a very silly system, but... Oh, well. Um, we could also try... No, universal suffrage again. Only the trade unions want it. How can I empower the trade unions? Let's, let's make that a question for today. Um, like, if I did compulsory private school... It would let me put more education investment, but that doesn't that doesn't empower them really. Let's take a look at um trade unions. Can I how do I get to uh, like the trade unions screen? Here we go. Okay, so the trade unions. Um First off, why are you not ha that happy? They really don't like the colonial exploitation. Yeah, once we go off colonial exploitation, they'll be they'll be into it. Um but yeah, oh this screen is very, very laggy. Might be because of some of the mods I'm running, of course, but that's really weird. Opening up the trade union screen drops it down to 3 FPS. <laughs> Hit modifiers. Uh, it's not very not very helpful, honestly. Um, laws? Excuse me. Okay. Oh, so you can see the laws they want us to pass. That's helpful. I don't know why this is so laggy. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, it's ju again, all of these things they want us to pass is basically just them. Except protected speech. Okay, we could do this. I would like that. What does protected speech do? More technology spread. Let's take a look at that. I'm going to just look at it here where it's less laggy. What is our speech? Oh, right, we were on... I didn't realize we weren't actually on the top level of, um, of this. Yeah, 25% tech spread is pretty good. Plus it would unlock guaranteed liberties. But we already have guaranteed liberties, so... Doesn't really matter. 
<clears throat> thing is, everyone likes this one. Whereas going to this is going to annoy... Yeah, the armed forces, the petite bourgeoisie. What's the modifier for the first level of armed forces again? Military tech cost. <clears throat> yeah. The gentry and Anglican church are marginalized anyway. Sure, let's pass protected speech. Um, and the advantage of that versus this is... Actually, let no, hang on. Don't do that. Can I do it again if I want to? Yeah, because what we could also do, we have this bonus to bolstering, right? What if I bolstered the trade unions? On this, on this mad laggy screen. Uh, it needs 200 authority and it gives us 30% bonus to their attraction. Hmm. There's not that many people are backing them. I don't know why. I wonder if the other ones are just as laggy. Presumably yes, yeah. Like, why have you got so much more? Oh, uh, right, it's because all the others have the bonuses from all the generals and things, and there's no generals and stuff in the trade unions right now. Sure, yeah, let's pass, let's pass protected speech. It'll lose me authority, though. Hmm, hmm, I don't know. 25% tech spread? What's our current tech spread modifier? What's What, what would that actually get us? Uh, no, it's not spreading, that's just... This one's spreading? Yeah, no. Military? Usually it's something spreading to me militarily. No? Society? Right now, nothing is spreading to us. So actually, forget that. Nothing's spreading to us because we have the best tech in the game by miles. So let's not bother with that. Um, I don't, Yeah, I mean, graduated taxation is probably the best way to support the trade unions because it would make the industrialists <clears throat> and the... Uh, the intelligentsia poorer. So let's try and get graduated taxation tasks. Now if I unpause, surely it's going to fill out the rest of this construction queue. Some of it. Freedom, equality, and brotherhood. Uh, we can get more popularity. Freedom of trade. Political leaders, freedom of trade. All of them have freedom of trade. Okay. A voice of reason is needed. Hmm. Well, I don't really want to do free of trade, but more people in power seems fine. <clears throat> um, yeah, make him radical. Which means he's going to want universal suffrage, guaranteed liberties, protected speech. Yeah, because that's what we already have. I mean, that's what we're already pushing for, rather. So sure, do that. Um, more women's rights? Yeah, that might be a good idea. People don't tend to want that. Oops, wrong one. Yeah, literally no one supports that at the moment, so <laughs> we can't do that. Uh, right, and there's slightly too much in the way of uh, da -da -da -da, the crees right now. So I think I'll turn off one of the ones, probably the greener, greener pastures one down here. Yeah, good. Game's still not running fantastically. It might be because of I'm, I'm recording at higher... Fr <laughs> um, Higher levels than previously. One of my opinions on Vicky 3, I think it's pretty good so far. The mods make it a lot better. University throughput for 20%? Wow, that seems good. Yeah, absolutely. Of course we're going to do that. That's that's mad. Oh no, that's worthless. I forgot. Damn. Because our literacy is just going to mean that the new cap is... I presume the uncapped number here is about to rise. Yeah, but that doesn't do anything. Damn. I do love how, man, how we've managed to get our... Uh, I mean, look at our, our standard of living compared to the rest of the world. The standard of living in our colonies dramatically exceeds the standard of living everywhere else in the world. <laughs> it's pretty good. So, Texas. Still can't get Texas. The US has ended their rivalry. Well, you're welcome to do that, but that doesn't mean I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you... Uh, let you have any benefits... Yeah, just try and make Michigan like us. What's this? Open arms. 20% migrant attraction or 100 prestige? Of course, yes, I'll take the migrant attraction. We'll go down, we'll go down to speed 4. So, uh, how infamous am I right now? 72. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> you, you at peace? Yes. East India, you morons. <laughs> they split in half. Damn it. Yeah. Letting them get independence was... Uh, it's frustrating, but, but presumably that means I don't have a truce with this guy. Uh, what are you actually producing? Let's take a look here. In the agro market, number of sell orders. 
like nothing. It's a terrible, terrible province. But but there's there's like there's so much room for coffee plantations and tea plantations. And sulfur mines and coal mines. Yeah, we need to own it directly so I can start exploiting this huge space for uh, for stuff. Okay, diplomatic play. Uh, we'll just do subject and then annex subject, I guess, is probably the uh, the best way. Is Dominion the one you can annex? No. Puppet is the one you can annex. Yes. We may face Russia, France, Spain. I'm not scared. Are you scared? Oh, and there's another one here. No, this is that one. This is the... What is this? Oman has a civil war. Okay, don't care. Anyone likely to back them? Some inconsequential Indonesian nations may back them. That is not a problem. I'm going to mobilize my two largest armies from England and the North Sea. And then these two navies will charge them in. Seems good. Dutchy Sinis, do I have a truce with you still? Hmm. <laughs> Oh, they got involved in this diplomatic play? No. It's just being shown because it's in the region. Okay. Because uh, you, you likewise are probably just doing complete rubbish. At least they have some grain production going on there. But again, like there's this huge potential for, for plantations and things here. Just loads of rural land. So I do want to get my hands on that. Oh yeah, new thing. Freedom of trade. If we enact free trade, it increases the number of trade routes. We'll complete if... You enact free trade or you increase. You remember when Paradox put things like one of the above or both of the above helpful kind of code based things in your in the ledgers when it's showing you what would happen? Do you need both or one of them? <laughs> because this is this doesn't tell me. I guess it means both. But that's silly. Um, should we launch an expedition to Niger River? Why not? It should obviously show you on this screen what their traits are. He is an explorer. I was told that it's bugged and you want to send non-explorers. So we'll send this stalwart defender. Instead. I don't know what the purpose of those is, but... Preserve per capita taxation political movement to marginalize people. Oh, and the knowledge of feminism spraying to us. Okay, cool. So that will... Maybe make some people more into the idea of getting uh, more women's rights going. But they still haven't finished getting Hokkaido. You know what? You've waited too long, Japan. I'm going to take Hokkaido off you. I'm thinking Japan is one of the options to play next, for sure, by the way. What is this? Radical Montenegro is trying to break out. Okay. A favoured party. Pressure them to include the intelligentsia in their government. No, who cares? Why would I care about that at all? The Dutch East Indies have sided with them. Okay. So, add war goal. Make puppet. Dutch East Indies. 104! What? 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 <laughs> You're kidding me. I can't believe they got independent and now it's going to cost 104 for me to get them back. Okay, well. I mean, how big is our army? We've got 338, we've got a big navy. It's tempting to start ignoring the infamy cap, is what I'm thinking right now. Let's not quite yet, let's try and get our tax law passed, let's try and get stupid wealthy, let's grow the military even more. But at some point, I want to start ignoring the infamy cap. Because I think it would be fun. I can't tell you you because you're on the expedition, yes. Push this front. I know I'm not interested in you being there in... 60 days, I'm interested in you being there now. Good. And yes, various people setting off. The expedition embarks. Find the source of the Niger River, please. What is that? Oh, sorry. BBC is flashing up on my phone. It's based on population? Yes, I suppose. I've got 10 million population. That's annoying, though. They only got independence. Why is the Grand Expedition closed? The greatest expedition. It was wonderful. 100 prestige. Um, yeah, they got independence by like two days in one of those nonsense wars where I'd occupied like half their land, but of course I hadn't touched the capital. It counted as me not having their, uh, me not having the war goal, which was annoying. Yeah, so expeditions used to be completely broken. We'll see if they still are. I don't know. Hippopotamus has been sighted further along the river. Uh, Hippopotamus attacks or sleeps or just wait. No, we'll just wait. That's fine. Let's not take any risks. 
Just wanted to try and get the uh, get the expedition completed. Yeah, so I mean they may win on various fronts, but I'm just gonna invade the capital and then I think that will that should carry the day in this war. What am I inventing right now? Right, yes, the telephone. Gold depleted in South Dakota. Okay. Should be fine. Where is Dakota? Do I not even own it? <laughs> That's weird. Oh, hey, okay, we can start talking to Texas now. Good. Rubber in La Plaz. Okay. Let's get a... Uh... Oh, yeah, can I have this in the proper thing? Thank you. Uh... Hmm. Rubber discovered, but I don't seem to be able to add anything here. And, yeah, France has yoinked their way into some land there, cutting me off from extra land here. I'll bring West Borneo. Mm. I've got a mod that changes which you can, which of these things pop up, and I might, I might have to go and edit it because I really don't want to be told about every new resource that I discover. That's that seems very tedious. So we're getting there. Why aren't I colonizing you? Oh, I am. Okay. Yeah, Russia stayed independent. No one, no one consequential has joined either side here, which means that when this war breaks out in a second, we will launch our attacks. War has broken out to arms. So, yes, you never invade here. You never invade here. And that should basically carry the day. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go edit that mod right now. Hang on. All right, hello, welcome back. We have modded the mod, and now hopefully it should work better. Oh, they backed down? Wait, what happened to my, what happened to my war? Oh, no, we're just, we're just in the war, right? It always confuses me when the, the diplomatic play here vanishes, but... Okay. We're at war. We're getting all this stuff. Radicals continue to decline because our people are just so rich. And they love it. Embargo, huh? Russia. Interesting. I am embargoing them, so... Hard to hold it against them too, too much. Um, What else should I be doing right now? Expedition member drowns. Peril and progress or minor peril? Well, I have to make some progress. And yes, we're, we're pushing in here, making progress. And the naval invasions will hit in not too long. And we're going to get the 10%. We deserve it because the modding was being annoying. Embargo ended. <laughs> Russia ceased embargoing us. Okay, decisive AI. And the expedition proceeded without incident. Good. How long till you land? Four days. I'm pretty confident we'll be able to win. Our tech is, you know, substantially better than theirs. Landing three versus five is pretty tough, but we are still winning nonetheless. And here, three versus three. E sorry, two versus three. Easy win. Nice, good work. Hugo, go. And there is telephone. Okay, which means... All right, we've got electronics industries unlocked, which means we should build some of them because we're going to need a ton of them once I switch over my bureaucracy. So, Electronics Industries, they produce telephones, they take rubber tools, iron lead. Yes. Capped at 51 right now, so let's build them. Oh, we have some market access issues, okay. Uh, mm. Is the screen, does that, is, what's up with the plus, oh, it's because they're under construction, right, right, right. Yeah, we don't have many, uh... oh no, my sorting, my unemployed sorting is not working, but the West County still has some peasants, so I guess that's where I'm going to build it to start with. Let's build a 20 size thing here, and we'll see um, we'll see how that goes. Ulster also still has some peasants, so I'd rather build it somewhere with the stuff encouraged, so let's build some here. Let's build two 20 sized ones of these, and then when they're done, we will um, we'll switch over and see how much more than that we actually need. Should be good. Next tech. Um, radio? Means we can produce less... Oh yeah, right, this is another great mod that I'm not sure I've shown off yet. Check this out. It shows you on visually on here what the production changes are, which is great. It's it's not perfect because it doesn't, sh you know, it shows you here you're going to go to 25 and to 30, which is more if it's red on the left and less if it's red on the right. But it doesn't show you the base one, unfortunately, because it's comparing it to this base, which is not super clear, but I do like that. It's uh, It's very cool. Yeah, so we're going to let them build, and then we'll see what the situation is. Um, 
what is the good situation? And let's use the spreadsheet screen because it's so cool. Okay, so right now, we've got high market price, still wood, a bit of uh, electricity and transport still, and groceries. <clears throat> but basically, it's wood. And yeah, there's a couple of man of war orders still, even though I'm not, uh, I'm not using any more, but there's some in our market that are. Uh, yes, yeah, so we need a bit more transport and a bunch more hardwood. Okay, have I got any hardwood queued up? No, just, you know, 10 levels of Suez Canal. Okay, yeah, let's get some uh, wood, wood going, which is probably resources. Yeah, logging camps. Okay, we'll put some logging camps around the place. Oh, we haven't got any over here. Okay, no wonder. Well, we're going to go with a bunch of these then. Just put them everywhere. And then we can let them auto-expand their way to, to whatever makes sense. No, they do already exist over here, but that's fine. I'll, I'll make them a bit bigger. Uh, don't exist over here, though. They did there, but... Let's get these going anywhere where there's potential. And then where are they profitable right now? Where, where does it think they'd be great? Midlands, British Guatemala, sure, but two there and here and a bunch in, in there and sure. Okay. <clears throat> that should get some here as well. Okay, and then we should go into rural and make sure... Do, 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 do. The next thing that people should make more compact, by the way, is this screen. These these are too big. Uh, da, 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 logging plantations. Auto expand. And yes, you're using chainsaws and... Rail logging carts, they're privately owned. They can get they are going for hardwood production and they've got electric steel, so they're as good as they can get. But yeah. We need a bit more power. Which goes up to 51 now, and these are already 60 size, so we should probably put them somewhere else. Sure. We will spread We'll spread our power production to the highlands as well as here. And then with that addition, that should cover our power situation. And what else was it again? Glass transport. Okay, so some more railways. I don't think transport needs to be local. Like the, uh, well, let's, we can probably figure that out actually, couldn't we? If we take a look here at transport. I mean, there is a market price, but what's the, yeah, if we show consumption on the map, does it have to be produced locally or not? I don't know. I don't think you do need to produce it locally. So we can just put huge railways in the UK and that will that will cover our uh, our global need, I think. Cool. Um, so plastics. Yeah, well, okay. Plastics will be good because it will give us more, more glass production, which is something that we're also a bit short of. He has suddenly died while drafting the law. Okay, we get more enactment chance, chance, less chance. Yes, double the chance for 20% more time. Absolutely. Go for it. And the landings continue well. Mm -hmm. Expedition continues without much incident. And yes, we've landed now, which means we can crush in. Good stuff. Spreading out a bit, but that's not too much of a concern. Because we're just going to crush the other fronts as soon as we... Yes, there we go. Good. Which means we should be able to drive them to surrender nice and quickly. Now, the Great Hunger continues because of the problems in the Sinai. Um, they have managed to get their standard of living cranked now. The uh, introduction of some subsidized buildings will definitely help. How am I subsidizing these? I thought laissez fair meant I couldn't subsidize them, but I'm just not going to question it, I guess. We have finished the colonization of Equator. Where is that? I don't, I don't know this place. It's here. Hmm. Okay, I'm guessing the Equator goes through it. That makes a lot of sense. We've got some rubber plantations going. General died. Now, I do not want notifications about that, but I'm not going to mod the game every time we want to change something, so I'm just going to open up my... My document for TBD on modding. And add it to the list. Of things to improve about this fair game. Victoria 3 modding. Oh no, I think I actually put it in my Victoria 3 review document, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. Uh, pointless events. 
Politician died. Who cares? Okay. Attack on the river. The expedition traveled the river. They were attacked by locals. Stand and fight or run? We'll, we'll run. Make progress for no risk. Absolutely. Seems good. An unexpected group. Lush jungle receives the lo last members of a lost Egyptian expedition. Guide them to help safety. We lose progress, but the British like us. Minor peril, or they would only delay us. No, they will only delay us. Move on. Crap, we're engraved now. Echoes of radical liberal thought are spreading. That's fine. This guy, who are you? The interest group of the leaders will turn to revolutionary, and he'll get revolutionary hero. Or he gets treasonous traitor. But he's still radical. No, it's treasonous traitor because we just want the... We were, we're trying to buff up the um, trade unions, not the, uh, not the rural folk. Although, getting up to... Uh, Oh no, we already got him happy. Okay, nice. So logging industry throughput. Hey, good. That should help with our uh, our wood pricing. Good. We can only hope. And yes, we're pushing in here. Oh, no, my men have gone away. My men have just left the front in the north and it's made it all collapse. Phenomenal. Because? Oh, he's died. I guess. Okay. Well, that's annoying. Uh... We have a hundred in reserve in the North Sea now. I'll take the guy with more traits, please. And he will be instantly promoted. I can't believe they didn't put a shortcut key on yes and no in pop-ups in this game. Like, that's... I, I know, I know. I'm, I'm trying not to be negative. <laughs> because it's there's no, no need to be negative, and it's more fun when you're not. But that is a comically bad design choice. Where did the general go from here? Here he is. Okay, good. Should still be winning these. Yeah, we win those. Good. All righty, pushing in there, and with twenty percent success chance, that's pretty good. For for you know, starting with eleven, can't complain really, can I? Uh, they want to restore interventionism. Who's supporting this? Just some pops. Not even a whole interest group. Interesting. What is that noise? Hmm. I guess some of the events that are hidden because they're not popping up still play the alert. Okay. Well, I'll just hear that noise and think, ah, that's good, because that was something I otherwise would have had to have closed. Former General Hugo has died. No! He was on my... He was important. <laughs> when the General... I mean, I know, I know, I know. I know I'm, I'm trying not to be negative. But when the, when the General dies... Hot take. When the General dies, the entire army should not just go home and demobilize. <laughs> That seems a little foolish, dare I say. All right, but we know that trick, so we can get him back immediately. So it's not a problem. But you guys are being driven back here. So let's have him switch to here. And we'll have to soon driven back. Where did my army go? Oh, here he is. Got these, the fronts, they're a little confusing in this war, huh? We're getting there, though. 72 negative, uh, negative happiness, or whatever it's called, war enthusiasm on their side. So we'll soon have them under control. Oh, the game's so much better without all the pointless pop-ups here obscuring things. I really like that mod. Very good mod indeed. France is going against these guys. Hmm. Puppeted Accra. Good. Done. So you... And you have almost a million people living there too. I think now what we should do... Well, we're losing so much money. Why am I losing so much money? Just because we're constructing just a staggering quantity of stuff. Okay. Oh, I heard something, by the way. So when you um, when you go into debt, the, the debt you take is actually from the cash reserves of your buildings. Um, and the building's owners are being paid the interest payments. So it's not actually just money going into thin air like it is in all the other uh, Paradox games. When you, when, you, when you pay interest, the money is actually going into your economy. So deficit spending is much less bad than I thought. Sure, rubber rush it up. Local guides. <laughs> what, a fun, what, a, what a pointful event. Just no, it will take too long. The only option. But yeah, so it's actually using, your debt ceiling is based on the cash reserves and the cash that's spent on interest is being paid to the owners. So I wonder what happens if they're government owned. <laughs> Can you just use the uh, 
cash reserves of the in all your industries as personal piggy banks. Apparently I can establish more colonies in five places, but I guess that just means there's five I've currently got ongoing. I think we're approaching the point where we should at least, ex I mean, it could end the campaign, but we should experiment with going over the infamy cap and just see what happens. Right? I mean, that seems fun. So who should we do the first war against where we experiment with going over the infamy cap? Maybe the US? Maybe we just take the eastern seaboard? Like, there's not much here, but... Is there a campaign goal? Asks chat. No, not really. I'm open to suggestions. Uh, make pop it. Texas. Still have a, a peace deal. Uh, I mean, a truce. We could pop it. No, that's what we should do to, to go over the infamy cap, right? Yeah, we should just launch a make puppet play and start making puppets that are big. Like, you know, Brazil and Mexico. I don't have, I think the camp, the, one of the campaign goals was just like play with the industries as, you know, the most powerful country in the game. Just play with industry and, and see how it goes. And I think we can safely say it's gone fairly well. Got 1.4 billion GDP. But let's, uh, yeah, let's, let's try now. Because I think we, we've kind of reached the logical conclusion of this campaign. So let's just see what happens if we go nuts. Like make puppet Mexico. Puts us way over the infamy cap. And all our radicals are in Australia and uh, <laughs> and Alaska right now, notice. That's funny. Why are you so radical? Probably because you don't like being conquered. Whiners. Um, have our... No, electronics industry is done in six weeks. Okay, so. Let's get these guys mobilized up. And I wonder who will join this fight against us. Because if it's lots of people, that's kind of a good thing. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to send you there. I meant to send you here. Good. Oh yes, and we have a front with them up here as well, but might as well send some people to push that too. Good. And then obviously if anyone else gets involved, I'll just uh, use my navies to mean they can't do anything. Should be good. Okay, and the US and Australia and Spain have all rivaled me <laughs> because I've uh, because I've now gone over the infamy cap. So we are now a pariah, which means we get 100% more radicals from conquest, but it caps at 100. Like, that number doesn't just keep rising. I mean, if someone doesn't back them soon, they're just going to back down. And if... If Spain gets in there, I wonder if I can just add like a puppet Spain war goal. Opposition member put forward demands. 15% uh, enactment chance, but the armed forces don't like it. Yeah, that's definitely a good idea. Up to 37% now on graduated taxation. And yes, France decided with them, which is going to complicate this war. <laughs> that's for damn sure. Okay. Hey, France. Look forward to giving me so much money. And meat puppet France? No. Um, do I just start taking provinces off France? What if I just yoink Ile de France? <laughs> like, should we just start going full border gore here? What if we just take Normandy, Picardy, and Ile de France? Seems fun, right? Hey, France, give me. Oh, you can't click on the, the screen. I thought you could. Uh, Congo State. This is revenge for 1066 France. Where's Normandy? Am I just missing it? Where's Normandy? There it is. I've got 65 left. Give me Normandy. Give me Picardy. Picardy. And you know what? Release, liberate country. Liberate Occitania. Perfect. Good. What could go wrong? Reclaim Calais. Hell yeah. Okay, so... <clears throat> navies. I'm going to need... A big... Two big navies... Patrolling the British coast. We do not want to get invaded. That's for sure. And we're going to leave Norman Dixon defending the homeland again. Because we got invaded by France once and I don't want it to happen again. But now you big dude... 
Come raid convoys down here. I do not want any French troops. Is it not hostile supply works? I guess just go here for now then. I do not want any French troops getting to Mexico. And what we'll do is we'll just beat France. Uh, sorry, beat Mexico and then we'll go beat France. Seems good. I could do with this expedition ending so I can actually get this army back. <laughs> Although actually, I mean, he's just defending the homeland, so. 18 days. They might still back down. Although, I mean, I'm not mobilizing all my men, so they probably won't, but. We need a few more ships, actually, just to be totally secure. Because I feel like if we have enough ships, they won't really dare, um, like, properly oppose us. So which fleet is less than 100 right now? The Pacific Coast fleet could do with uh, maybe another... That's, what's that? When I just build 20? Okay. That takes them to 100. Now we're losing a million bands a week. <laughs> They might still back down. <clears throat> Part of the problem with going World Conquest is if they always back down, and I, Lambo was doing a bit of World Conquest, so I don't know a bit about this, but when they uh, when they back down, you only get your primary war goal, which is obviously a bit of a pain. Anyway, the other thing I should probably build in anticipation of going to like a state of total war, perhaps we should grow our munitions plants some. Because right now they're not that big, as you can see. Let's get some more going. Let's get some going in places where we've got some some peasants still. So like, God, there's not many places, are they? Hokkaido. Let's build some. Let's build some munitions plants in Hokkaido. Finished on the electronics yet? Four weeks. <clears throat> and those munitions plants, electronics industries. Yep. Do auto expand and publicly trade. Oh, they have been finished. So what was I looking at? Oh, these are power plants. Okay, so electronics industries are done. And they're making some cash, despite the fact that... I don't know who's using this. Okay, it's just being used by Pops for communication needs. Okay, but in just a second... When we switch over... Government administration to telephone switchboards... Suddenly it's going to make them cost a lot more. Good. We don't have the... I can't go to administrative clergy. Not allowed... Oh, because that's the clergy, right? Yeah, yeah, no, we don't want to do that. Uh, good, and so there we go. Suddenly we have 7,000 um, bureaucracy. So, home countries, uh, government administration, get shrunk by a lot. It's going to cause some um, radicals, but that's okay. The price I am willing to pay. There we go. That's going to save us some cash, and it's going to save some employ. It's going to cause two hundred and thirty thousand unemployed people in uh, in the home counties, which is not great, <laughs> but uh, that's fine. They should find work pretty soon because uh, yeah, there's lots of stuff being expanded here. Okay, good. Now, uh, what was I thinking? Right, I wanted to see how much. Now that's actually happened. How are we doing on? phones. We actually have a slight surplus. Sorry, a very, only a very slight deficit. Th this number, take this number, is not... Oh, no, it is. Okay, I'm crazy. Good. Okay, so we need, uh, like, almost double that number of telephones. Okay. No problem. Why isn't this here, by the way? Just, just, a, just a question. Uh, get me a bunch more this please and we should probably put one in the home countries because we know there's lots of unemployed people there recently aspired civil servants need a job okay uh, and I'm, I think do I bother fighting France on all these small fronts I think I probably should just because there's not really any reason not to France is sending a bunch of men up here but I mean I'm gonna raid all this probably so they won't get a chance to really do much with it, but might as well grab what occupations we can. It really causes very, very, very little um, war exhaustion when you fight them on kind of less consequential frontiers like this. But the other thing we could do is get some more barracks going in Africa. Yeah, let's do that, actually. 
Does it put them at the front? No. And so you can shift click to build five, and you can alt click to put it at the top of the production queue, but you can't do both, which is annoying. So let's just put, I mean, yeah, let's just raise a huge African army, and then it can, oh, sorry, pause, pause. If we raise a big army in Africa, then it can um, uh, fight locally. Like, I don't even need to give them generals. They can just act as like a, you know, a, a always in place garrison. In fact, here's a, here's a strategy for you. What if everywhere just had at least a small garrison? That seems like a, an okay strategy to me. It's going to cost some money, don't get me wrong. Uh, we're going to suddenly start employing a, a sizable portion of the country as, uh, as soldiers. But if everywhere just had a small garrison... I would feel a bit safer. Do, 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 do. Yeah, we've got these these five who are going here. Can I select them easily? Yeah, there we go. Come, uh, let's face, let's hit them where, where they are. Opposite of Sun Tzu's advice. And yeah, you chaps. If you could just uh, teleport over here, that'd be good. Okay. And yeah, we're losing money, but we've got a, uh, a big potential cash reserve. So... I'm not too worried. And once we finish building these military buildings, we'll go back to having uh, proper transfers. Several members of the expedition, including the captain, have been kidnapped. We will pay. Jesus Christ. <laughs> no. No, I'm not going to pay for that. And they are really going for my Corsican holdings, but there's, like, nothing here, so that's okay. Well, Mexico has broken out. Okay. Oh, and here's the event. Despite not paying for the ransom, they've managed to secure their freedom. However, some were left behind. More peril, which means the expedition will fail now, I believe. But we are advancing in on all these fronts. Good. And, yeah, the economy continues to grow. And suddenly we've built these barracks here, which means we now have troops at least defending all these fronts. Which is good. And we're pushing in, pushing in, pushing in. Good. And there we go. As soon as we'd finished building the barracks, we go back to having the temporary transfer, which means we go back to having a decent situation. And yes, we failed the expedition, but I don't really care. Uh, we've got enough people, I think, defending the homeland. We are actually successfully defending here. <laughs> nice. You go, Corsica. In fact, actually, yeah, sure. Let's have... Let's raise up some more armies. Um, some small ones. A innovative firebrand. Sure thing. You. Mobilize. Get promoted. Come try and hold Corsica. Like, I know it's quite an ask. But if you could just do your best and cause some decent French casualties while you're there. Ah, damn. They are going to push us out in the first one, actually. Our convoy sunk in the Straits of Gibraltar. Outrageous. Uh, let's send one of the navies from there to escort convoys here. I can't escort convoys here. Oh, that's right. You escort convoys on a coast basis, not on a node basis. 66 of them. We should be able to, uh, to keep them away then. <clears throat> and yes, we've broken through here. Which means so Guatemala and Mexico are imploding. Good. 38% chance now for graduated taxation. We can but hope. Do, do, do. Yes, not managing to hold here, sadly. So they've been pushed back. Oh, well. Mexico itself is very much under my control. Okay, so you dudes, just go where the French are active. So we can inflict some casualties. And obviously struggling to hold up here with 110 French troops. But as soon as Mexico falls, I'll send all the ships around here. No, no, have nothing. Hey, it passed. Nice. So, yes, some people are pretty annoyed. But it's going to do good stuff for our income. Yes, the temporary transfer from the income investment pool will decline because there'll be way, way less profits being given to uh, to people. Can you actually see that on the, the, the industry level? No. So the balance goes to Owner shares dividends, right? So it's, they're getting these dividends, and then some's going to the investment pool, and so oh no, we can see it here. Yeah, yeah, okay, dividend taxes. Hang on. What did we set? What, did, what are the dividend taxes at? 
30% dividend tax. Right, but then if I... Oh, because we're at low taxes. We could have it be 40. Or 50. But if we set it to... Uh, 30 to 50 is not a very big swing, is it? Like, it's smaller than the 10 to 10, 20 on income tax. Anyway, I might... I, I'm quite happy with my low taxes because we're just... I mean, we're still making plenty of cash. But anyway, we're now making... 400k from dividend taxes. Nice. <clears throat> and they're still putting plenty into the income pool. Pretty good. Pretty good. And we've unlocked plastics. Nice. So, we can switch over our glassworks to that. <clears throat> to make, oh, just so much more uh, glass, which is great. But yes, we are very short on qualifications, which is not good. So, what good are we short on now? Steel oil. Yeah, oil is a problem. We need to take um, Texas, I think, for that, basically, because there's nowhere I can build more oil rigs. There are places, however, I can build more steel mills. <clears throat> places with existing building and peasants, so home countries. Let's take that up to past 50, and East Anglia. Let's take that off a bunch. Good. And now, what else? Electricity, tools, transport. So tech, I'd like help with... Electricity tools or transport, ideally. Not going to help me too much on those. An oil turbine would help. Got to 150 from... What's the base? 100 right now? <clears throat> I think 100 is what this gives us. Yeah. Making 50 more per thing with no more employment, looks like. Oh, but it would use coal rather than steel, of course, which we can't really do. How about this? This is mostly for farms. Hmm, and railway, but it uses so much oil. I don't think I can use more oil. Maybe I'll do a society research instead. Uh, paved roads. More infrastructure for population. Just agitation. More authority. That would be good. Uh... Eh, I don't know. I think maybe we just do some military stuff. Give me a, give me a bolt action rifle. <clears throat> it's only four months away. Okay. Mexico, you've got to be on the cusp of surrendering here. you got to be. Look at this stuff. How, how cheerful are you about this? 38 war support. <laughs> that won't last long. But yeah. Cruising through here. If one of you want to... Uh, Teleport yourselves up north so we can start making headway there as well. That'd be grand. And no one's declared like a you know a containment war against me yet, so I don't know. Maybe they will, but they haven't yet. Our convoys sunk all over the shop. That's unacceptable. Get me. A massive African Navy, which we will use to then probably just defend. In fact, actually, you know what? Yeah. I'm going to do the same thing as we did with the other one. Just give me give me naval bases everywhere. <clears throat> and that way, wherever the convoys are, they should have some local defenders. I think that will help. Echoes of Revolutions again. Becomes Radical. He wants protected speech, guaranteed liberties, and universal suffrage. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> He's already in government. Maybe we could get... Uh... Yep, there we go. Universal suffrage. They're all about it. Gives us less authority, of course, but we get more political strength from votes. And yeah, not no longer just literate pops votes. Okay. Trade unions love it. Intelligentsia like it. Rural folk like it because they're communists. The intelligent, the industrialists do not like it, but they can suck it up. We are going to lose the uh, production tech cost 20%, which is pretty nice, but I mean, nice to have, but oh well. And yeah, no actual movement here. And once Mexico finishes falling, we'll be able to transfer all, transfer all these troops over, which will be good. And yeah, they're slowly making their way through the desert here, but... We're giving him we've, <laughs> minus four casualties. Nice necromancy going on in the uh, in the Sahara. 
Nice. Just gonna just gonna take a quick screenshot of that because that's that's pretty funny. Is there an AI mechanic that weighs the cost benefit of going to war with a powerful nation? I don't know. To be honest. <laughs> All rush subsidies. Less migrant section into California. Shame. Shame. Um Yeah, I don't know, to be honest. Can I I wish it didn't have to say commanders here. That would be useful. There'd be more room in this this because this vertical space is the most it's the most expensive bit of screen real estate in the game at the moment. The Charlist Party. Who are they? And what do they want? Uh, the Charlist Party is now the Intelligentsia and the Trade Unions. Ooh, the Intelligentsia switched because they are uh, because they're radical now. How about we kick out the uh, industrialists out of government <clears throat> and bring the rural folk in? They do want to join this party after all. Let's do it. Very small loss of legitimacy, but it better represents our uh, native affairs here. Oh, what's this? Oh, right. We had a, uh, a native uprising. Okay. We didn't get a pop-up for that. Interestingly. Don't mind that noise. That's my WhatsApp, <laughs> not yours. Oh, the migration event's still happening. Well, we need to fix that, but but not just now. Or with them is broken out, and we will immediately put them in their place with superior numbers. Good. Oh right, are we paying the military? Yeah, a little bit at least. Good. We've unlocked feminism. Cool. Or not women in the workplace and women's suffrage. I mean, we should probably actually pass these because we need more workers. We're uh, beginning to get to a point where uh, if we take a look at a particular province, like the, well, the low country is a bad example, but yeah, some of these places, not on fu not full on employment. A few of them. Troubling. We need, we need more people. More immigration. People are going to become our, uh, our scarcest resource soon, I think. Okay, Mexico, come on. Give it up. I want to start my, my military campaign against uh, against France in earnest. They think it's going to be fourth in Africa. <laughs> they are wrong. Losing colonies, but it's not a big deal. There we go. Mexico puppeted. Lovely. Okay, so... Should we beat them in, fr in uh, Africa first, or should I just go straight up France? I think we just go straight up France, honestly. Naval invade. Picardy with him. You, naval invade. Normandy with him. You, naval invade. Brittany with him. You, naval invade. Loire with him. You, naval invade. You have no armies. Fair enough. Now, who's not currently naval invading? And whoever you are, come defend this front and just slow them down with uh, attritional casualties and then the last one of you yeah keep advancing down here in fact no sorry I want you to go here because I think if I take this port I will instantly cut these guys supply entirely and you small navies come raid down here I mean, let's see. We've taken the port already. Let's see if their supply starts tanking. Because it should, right? That's the only that's their only connection to France is via that port. If it turns out that you can only lower supply via a port by raiding and not by just taking the port, I'm gonna be displeased. <laughs> but let's find out. Mm, not dropping yet. Gold depleted in Hokkaido. It is dropping now. Good. Okay. Good. So we can keep them bundled up there. And they're going to uh, steadily run out of morale and be totally unable to do anything. Good. Meanwhile, our naval invasions land in 38 days. Grand. <clears throat> hey, Mexico. I guess I don't need to improve relations because I intend to annex them. Well, shall I annex them or shall I just puppet everyone? I think I should just, uh, I think I should just puppet everyone. Although, I don't know, can you, can you force internal migration? Like, if I conquered the US, and then I destroyed all the buildings in it, do you think I could just, do you think that would make them all come over to my side? Like, like migrate to my side, I mean? 
Siege artillery and stormtroopers. Sure. Seems good. And then we unlocked a new production method for armed industries. Just going to make us more cash. Again, though, every time I change anything, it's like not enough. Not enough qualifications. Still short on electricity. What? What? Even with my my massive uh, new power plant? Ah, it's not employing anyone yet. Yes, this is the problem. There's not enough people here. We've got a lot of servicemen. <laughs> yeah, putting everyone in the army is also going to cause some problems, I guess. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I don't care. You More momentum to Pellet or more radical officers or becomes an industrialist instead. Uh, say what you want. I don't care. Okay, so naval invasion. They are trying to intercept it and failing. And we are landing, but failing, sadly. When this one ends, come on. Ah, oh, it's 14 versus 40. You're kidding me? Well, you know what we could do? You know what we could do? We could go all schlieffen on their ass. Is it just a diplomatic action? Must have a land theatre adjacent to both war leaders. It does. The Netherlands. Hey, what? We landed successfully. Oh, they didn't oppose that one. <laughs> nice. Good stuff. Ooh, that's not a great fight. <laughs> Sunk a bunch of French convoys down here. And there, they're presumably barreling towards complete uselessness. Yes, indeed. Good. Does this count as having a war goal, by the way? No, I have to get Picardy and Occitania occupied for it to count. Shame. Landed up here? Yeah, nice. Good work, lads. <clears throat> so I have to land. Does that count as Picardy, though? Yes, their war score, their war uh, export can now go negative. Okay. Well, maybe I should just stop fighting them then. If this is sufficient to make them, uh, make them leave the war, then there's no need for me to advance, right? Because it's no longer saying it cannot go below zero, and they're going to lose 4.6 a month. So, sure. And yeah, still sinking tons of French convoys off Guinea somehow. I don't know where they're going. But, did they retake this? What is that flag? Who are you? The Netherlands! It's technically a Netherlands front. Okay, cool. Fine. No problem with that. Wow, we're using so little of our production. Probably because no one's employed. Oh yes, right, and I have the mod, I think. Um... I forget. Yes, we do have the mod. So, in order to automatically expand, it will only do it now if there's more conditions. So, it has to have 95% worker occupancy and some unemployment or some peasants in the area to actually upgrade things. So, it's going to stop upgrading things a lot less. Is there a way to conscript specific people as frontline pops? I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, you just build it in their region, I guess. Uh, promote them? Yeah, sure. Universal suffrage will be on everyone's lips now. Yes, absolutely. 64% chance. And in the election, it looks like the communists are going to take it. Let's go. Looking good. If we can get universal suffrage passed before the election, that would be good, but I don't think we're going to be able to. Hanover is damaging relations. Why are you doing that, Hanover? Seems foolish. Uh, you guys stop with the advancing. You guys can go and uh, push some of these fronts instead of your naval invading ways, I guess. Sure thing. You likewise... Oh, hello, France. <laughs> didn't uh, didn't see you there. Interesting. Well, these naval invasion dudes come and uh, put them in their place. Are they doing something similar over here? Yes, they are. Come and kill all their convoys. That's unfortunate. There's my wood production over there. It's going to hurt my uh, my economy. Now these guys, he's only got 60 defenders. I guess we could keep pushing this front. Let's see if we can uh, actually make some ground here. But yeah, I think, I think maybe the resource we need most right now is people. And so if we conquered land, destroyed all the buildings, made it so they really wanted to emigrate. The problem is I don't think internal emigration is more common than external. Like they just go somewhere probably outside of the country. Uh, migration. 
I mean, people are migrating to us already in huge numbers, it looks like. <laughs> so that's pretty good. Apart from Wales. No one wants to live in Wales, apparently. How's this fight? More even. Still not going our way, though. But yes, France is, is going negative. And there is the Charlotte's party. So if we take a look at the interest group power. Yeah. Trade unions up to 17% now. Royal folk at 5. And intelligentsia at 34. Pretty good. Reform the government. I don't need to. It's already perfect. Yes, they are angry, luring more radicals from discrimination, but we have no radicals from discrimination, so it does not matter. So I don't know what I can actually do about the population thing. I think I already have all the tech that's associated with them. Um... No, okay, I could get antibiotics. How are we doing on institutions, by the way? We're, we're capped out, I think, right? Yeah. Yeah, more healthcare, I guess, is all I could do to... Uh... To help with our population. I say all we could do like that isn't a major thing. It is. For sure. So that would help. But Okay, got them on a few more fronts. Let's, uh, let's keep pushing them here. You guys can push them down here. Anyone else free? No, just some defenders. Where are you going? Defending the Star Front still, yeah. Well, we don't need you there as much as we probably need you uh, over here, I think. Because these guys have got no morale now, so they can't advance anymore. In fact, if you guys advanced here, I think they would just insta-win every fight. And, yeah, they've given up up there. Ah, they've all just left. Okay. As soon as we started advancing, they swapped it out for someone who was actually more competent. Damn. Where do they go? Probably up here. Not yet, anyway. But yeah, with minus 44, we're barreling towards victory here. Good stuff. Do, 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 do. Peace offer? What was that? France, are you willing to uh, take this? No. Don't offer peace until you're willing to give up, France. It's the only peace deal I'm, I'm going to accept. There's a lot of them down here. Managing to hurt their morale as well, though? Yes, indeed. Sinking 1,300 convoys. Jesus Christ. Ooh, we're actually losing that fight, though. Give me... Uh... Should we focus on India for a second? We don't need the convoys around here. Have I got... I have some ships around here? Yeah, you guys. Come over here instead. Where else do I have uh, ships still? Do I leave any over here? No. Do I leave some here defending? No. Where, where are you guys? You're on the... Lacadive Sea. Is this the Lacadive Sea? Yes. You guys over in the east. Okay, let's have you come and let's yeah, let's just focus here for a second. Can I teleport you here as well? No, because I can't assign multiple things there. Yeah, the UI is not great at telling where your sh ships are. That's uh, a very fair complaint. <laughs> Restore interventionism low, cultural exclusion low. Yeah, the damn, uh, the damn Anglicans. They really want to be, uh, they want to be racist. What can I say? Alright, we're holding them here now. If you guys want to go back to just defending the front, they're on fairly low morale. I wish you luck. Okay, and yes, we're pushing up the back here. And pushing here still, not so successfully. But we're causing more French casualties, which is causing them to lose loads more war support than I am. How many casualties do we take in this war versus them? Ah, not that many. We, uh... Plastic production is actually completed. Ah, oh, cool. Plastic is the future. 33% put through or... Spread the knowledge to France. You know what? <laughs> no. I think that's, uh... I think I'm not going to do that, actually. Just having considered it carefully. God. You know one thing I can do to help with employment, actually? I can obliterate my construction sector. And I want to obliterate it so much, I'm actually going to tab out and turn on my auto-clicker. So I can do it faster. Because we do not need this much construction capacity, given that we can't build anything because everyone's... You know, we don't have enough people to employ. So. There we go. That's a whole bunch of people out of work, but a whole bunch more people to employ. So now, if we look at this... Uh, on the industry screen, we can see we've suddenly got a bunch of unemployed people around. Good. And there we go, suddenly building stuff. 
Actually, more than I'd hoped. Where do you have... Uh, where are the peasants? Okay, here. How many, how many people need to work in each of this? I wish it would give me a total number, but that's three, four... It's 6,000. Okay, so in Hokkaido... Get me, get me 12 or like 14 there. And a few in Bermuda. I just want to put them specifically places where there's there's people to employ. I wish I could sort by unemployed, but yeah, just get any any peasants that currently exist. Turn them into construction sector workers. But if they're, uh, but the people will make more money working in you know anything but construction. So. I mean, they make more money for the in for the economy, given that we can't use the construction people. Just defend this front for a sec. We've nearly got them. Minus 56, but in one more week, they'll be willing to give up. Wars do feel very short in Victoria 3. Like, France is about to give up a huge chunk of land. Like, a huge chunk of land. <laughs> All right, job's done. Do you guys have good enough access to the market? Let's give you some more trains and... Oh jeez, I've got no ports here. Get some ports going. Oh yeah, I heard something. I saw that song about that on Reddit. Apparently sometimes the AI only builds ports in one... So you can just take that one province and then tank their economy. Don't know why this game is running so bad at the moment. Mods might be messing with it. Uh, yeah, so zero level ports. Zero level port. Zero level ports. <laughs> And of course, we know there's none up here. Was your only port down here? France, do you not have a port? France didn't have a port? <laughs> what? <laughs> France didn't have a single level of port in their entire country. That's crazy. How? <laughs> How indeed? How is that possible? <laughs> seems so unlikely <laughs> right well I've enjoyed this campaign uh, I think we've proven that we can uh, smash up major powers we had a long fight against America uh, I enjoyed fighting over the west coast of America it was cool all the gold rush and stuff the uh, rubber dominance that we had the integration of all of our puppets and the many wars against America that it took but at this point to be honest, I look at the building screen and I see all of these little split arrows and uh, I want to stop playing because I do not want to have to click through all of this. All right, let's, let's count it. We've conquered two provinces of France. Okay, the number of buttons I would have to press to get back to the same position as I was before is... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. 44, I think. It's 44 buttons just to set the urban industries. Now rural. 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60. 61, 62, 63. It would take, uh, sorry, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72. It would take 71 individual toggles in order to set all of the different production methods back the way I wanted and set all of the auto expands. That's stupid. <laughs> and I'm not going to do that. So instead, I'm going to uh, not play for a bit. It's been a fun series. I hope you enjoyed it. I definitely did. I know I've been negative at times, but the mods have really improved things. Um, but I think I'm going to just not play this game as a large country until that's fixed. Because 78 different settings that I need to change after conquering two provinces is uh, it's madness. It's just, it's just madness. Um, and it's so, so fixable. Um, in fact, it's so fixable, I'm going to record a separate video about how exactly I would fix it. Because uh, I think that might be interesting. But until then, uh, what did I call this campaign again? Uh, the sun never sets. Well, truly, the sun does never set. We have a great font game as well. Uh, let's wait. Let's get Universal Suffrage Pass, and then we can. That, that's a nice. It's a nice capstone for the series, I think. All right. In a few days, seventy-two percent chance. Come on now. Come on. I, I believe. 
100% chance. Yeah! We now have universal suffrage, which means we get women's suffrage laws. Potentially, we can do and all kinds of stuff. Do people endorse the women's suffrage laws? Uh, no, still no. Even as radical communists, they do not want to. Uh, they don't want to let women vote. And yeah, people want to go back to census suffrage, but their radicalism is very low. We've got the economy in a fantastic place. Um, we are. I mean, if you look, look at the world's GDP and then compare it to ours, it's just comical. Like, look at this. We have 1.4 billion GDP. Second place, that would be Qing at 218 million. <laughs> it's just, it's, it's pretty comical. And part of it is definitely that the population, the AI, I mean, these are growing fairly quickly, actually, to be fair. But yeah, the AI is not very good at the economy game. And <laughs> we did kind of tank France there at the end, which is fun. Italy's doing well, but obviously Italy's a kind of an edge case, but... Well, I mean, honestly, some of these economies are growing pretty well, but... I mean, they're not in the 1.5 billion range. <laughs> but yeah, it was a fun campaign. Um, we're pretty literate. We did work. I don't I think we could have done more on literacy. But yeah, standard of living is just... It's a very satisfying... Uh, very satisfying map where you can just see, like, literally everywhere we own is doing fantastic and everywhere we don't own is doing terrible. And then France is kind of just about in the middle. <laughs> Population was doing pretty well. Yeah, we suddenly have uh, 5 million radicals because, of course, we got uh, a bunch from Conquest there. Yeah, and we fired a crap ton of people recently. But uh, yeah, 1.75 million from being conquered. But look at these, look at these loyalists. They're all over the shop. Everybody loves us. It was a fun campaign. It was a fun campaign. But I'm going to end it there. Thank you so much for watching. Watch out for the next one, which will come at some point. And I'll see you then. Bye-bye.